hey, this is our cut metal. This is the, the cheapest of the metal that I'm gonna be uh, recycling. By the way, welcome to Jack's Treasures. Oh, I thought you already- No, I haven't or... recorded anything yet today, but uh, welcome to our video. Uh, Brian has finished up kind of sorting out our metal and he was yeah. going to tell you about the metal, so here he is. Yeah, this is the, the cut metal. This is the cheapest of the metal that we're doing. All over there on that side is all of the uh, other metal, the aluminum, stainless steel, brass, and copper that okay. I'll be taking in. Got a couple of motors that I'll be doing and everything like that. In the middle is all of the garbage that I'm going to be taking to the dump tomorrow. Um, and then on the very end over there is the washer and dryer that I'll be putting up on the marketplace. Fun, fun. Always. Anyhow, um, this is what Brian has been working on practically nonstop for two days, trying to get this ready, get it out of our way so we can move forward with other things. And now yep. I'm going to go inside and dig through another box of ashtrays and other fun stuff. Okay, what I have here is another box from our estate purchase, which I've explained to you before. The bulk of our purchase is, was um, books and DVDs and nerdy stuff that we love selling, but we did wind up with some glassware and similar things like that that have just been piled into a corner and have been sitting and waiting for us. Fun, fun. But it's gotta get unwrapped. I actually listed everything that was worth listing from the entire box I opened yesterday, which I actually got some stuff up and I actually sold something that I listed yesterday. I was telling you about the um, stocking holders. I listed the set of three that all looked the same. I listed them for $27.99 and they sold within two hours. So um, my work I put in yesterday already has started to pay off. First thing I unwrap here is a SpongeBob SquarePants mug. It's not in the greatest of shape. Um, I will look into this. More than likely, this will wind up in my antique booth. Obviously, not an antique, but it's something that will sell. This stuff was wrapped in sheets. Um, we were wrapping things with just pretty much anything we could find at a certain point, just trying to get by. That's a cool ashtray. Uh, Brian will wind up listing this. He, it's funny. Um, something we wind up finding things that we list that you would never you would never think that we would wind up being our thing his thing one of his things is ashtrays anytime we find an ashtray he is the one that lists them uh, my thing's car stereos <laughs> i've listed probably four car stereos in the last week go figure um that's that's an ashtray this is lily you've seen her before in our videos she is a sweetheart um Next thing here, it's a teapot that looks like a seashell. That's super cool. It doesn't appear to be marked. Um, probably put that in the antique booth. I don't know, I might do a little research, but there were no markings on it. Oh, it's got a matching little creamer. That's gonna add some value to it. Yep, that looks like a sugar dish. That is a, as a set, more than likely that's gonna make it be something I put online now. Once again, wrapped in a sheet. We have here, this is just wine decor, not marked. Oh, it is marked. It does have a name on it. It's been signed. It looks like it says Mary Bet Zietz. I'll look that up, see if it's anything desirable. If not, that will definitely sell in the booth. People love wine stuff. Usually not huge money, but it'll sell in the booth, or if that's an artist that people like, I'll sell it on eBay. Lily. Um, just some little saucers, all marked with different things. They look like it might be from various hotels, some of them. Yeah. Different markings. These are things that I will research. Some of them will get listed, some of them won't. I'm gonna turn on a light over here, give us a little bit more lighting. You can see more kitties. There's Mars, who we saw yesterday. That's Evie. Yes, he's named after the Pokemon. That's his brother, Flareon. As far as we know, they are actually brothers. 
Yes, you're Lily. Oh, there's another piece for the seashell set. Oh, Brian's coming in. Hello, Brian. Oh, those are cool. We have got some cool stuff here. Oh, Look at that seashell set. Oh my gosh. That is, that's awesome. I like yeah. it too. Wow. Got to get a couple more ashtrays too. Oh, all right. Well, that's I was good. explaining how you're always the ashtray man. Yeah. I found a Starbucks coffee uh, thermos. Oh, that's mine. I thought that was yours. Yeah. I threw it in the scrap metal bin. Yeah, that oh, is well, actually really. mine. Ooh, some pretty little teacups. They don't look like anything too special. Those will probably go in the antique booth. Yeah. Um, bread warmer, that's definitely an antique booth piece. We've had a billion of those. There's a cookie mold, Wilton. I will look that up. At worst, that'll go in the antique booth. Yeah, you best go to Amazon. Yep. I don't know who packed all this stuff. In my room. I'm gonna guess Colin, actually. Colin might have. This um, looks like this might have been in the back room where yeah. he was working. Right. This says Madrid Blue. That's probably gonna be an antique booth piece. It's a telephone, telephone trinket box. And I think he was the one that actually wound up with a lot of cloth back there to work with to yeah, pack things the, in. The tubs of cloth. That's a um, trivet. Yeah. Yes, Lily, good goodness. Yeah, that's um, That's like a little dish you would have in a restaurant to have like sauce, a sauce dish. Oh, I like that. Uh, it's, it's marked. Oh. A lot of this stuff is just going to have to be researched and see if it has value. And if not, the great thing is this stuff will look great in the antique booth. These are just little wood pieces. They look like they were probably sold in Hobby Lobby or Michael's, something like that. Or in Belgium. Or in Belgium's version of Hobby Lobby or Michael's. That's like a uh, cheese serving platter. It's actually very cool, but it's nothing, yeah, nothing special, but it would go in the booth. What is it? Stop it. <laughs> Lily's over there oh. causing problems. Decorative plates, which are the bane of my existence. I have a particular dislike for decorative plates. Yes, she does. <laughs> I actually bought her one once and uh, she'll never let me forget it. Oh, these are the little teacups or tea plates that go with these cups. So we can sell that as a set. They have something written in um, Asian language. I can't really read. They're, oh, these uh, are also, cute. These are hand painted. Yeah. These are little ceramic animal hooks. Believe it or not, these will actually probably sell on eBay, even though they're not often, you know, anything particularly special. But people like this kind of thing. There's or those roosters. There's two chickens or roosters, some kind of bird. That's a regular bird, and that's a cow. And there's cow. Yep. So we got all birds and a cow. There's more coming. Oh no, that's a shoe. Never mind. That's not that's part a of that. Yeah, I thought these were the same thing, but these are clogs, or no, these are salt and pepper shakers. <laughs> All yeah. different stuff. Okay, you are doing a big whip right here so far. Yeah. I love this. Mm -hmm. that, that thing. Yeah, that's the whole set. Did you see the whole set? Yeah, and this is, uh, that's a cream. Right yeah, this is definitely stuff from the back room because we're coming to cookie molds. We, what we have is a bunch of these cookie molds, well, of those cookie molds in boxes somewhere. We just yeah, haven't to gotten fun. to them. To too. And then another bun warmer. But that's what we got in this particular box. Um, that's where I'm going to start working tonight is looking some of this stuff up, see what I can list on eBay. Brian might grab a couple of these things. That's uh, something I've got to return to Amazon because it didn't work. What is it? It's a charger for the GoPro. Oh, okay. But anyhow, that's what we got today. 
Sorry if this isn't anyone's cup of tea. I know. <laughs> cup, cup of, of tea. tea. I got it. I know. I, I got it. But cup of you guys are here helping me do something that needed to get done. And tomorrow Brian's taking two loads to scrap metal. I'm doing two loads to scrap metal. I'm doing one load to the dump. And I'm hoping to have our carport completely cleaned out right. so that we can actually park our cars underneath there. And my goal is to list several boxes and send them off to Amazon tomorrow. Yes, Amazon, big Amazon That's day That's tomorrow. my project. I may try to make a video of part of that process. We'll see. See how that goes. I don't and, know. Uh, we're still keeping an eye out for our little missing bunny. Um, yep. Uh, Archie, little orange cat if you're in the East uh, Paulding High School area. Just keep your eye out. And, I know y'all might not love these videos, but I'll tell you someone who does love these videos, and that is Lily. Lily is so happy to be a YouTube star, and she would love if you would like, share, and subscribe because she is so happy to be famous. Yes, she is. Yes. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, talk about us with your friends. Yes. Uh, need anything, or if you ever want anything. Other than Lily, anything. Lily is not for sale. Yeah, just uh, put a little comment down there. Tracy reads all of the comments, um, and let us know. All right. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Lily. Stop it, Lily.